And so yeah, I've done a lot of musical theater. Okay, and how do you felt that that has built your ability to do magic or your ability to perform in, sh in front of such large groups? Uh, being an actor always helps a magician. Uh, a magician who can act will always trump a magician who cannot act, mm. which is why a lot of uh, a lot of people are starting to realize. It used to be that if you needed a magician on TV, you just hire a magician. Nowadays, you just hire an actor who can act like a magician, and you either teach them how to do the magic or you CG it in later. Uh, yes. So, which is you know, and a lot of magicians are starting to whine and complain about that. There's actually uh, kind of a lot of debate going on right now because there's a cruise ship. I think it's a Norwegian cruise line. They do a show called Illusionarium, and they mm -hmm. used to. It's all magicians, and they've been slowly training actors because they own the props. Mm -hmm. the, the cruise line itself owns the props and all the material and the show itself. So they've been slowly training actors to just start doing all the magic. roles, doing all the magic, because it's cheaper to hire actors. Ah, uh, this yeah. makes sense. So have you seen the industry change a lot since you've become a part of it? Oh, uh, not a lot, a lot. I mean, I'm I'm pretty young. And so, you know, the, the part that I kind of started coming into, I know most, the thing I know most about is like children's birthday parties. And uh, I know a little bit about TV stuff now and a little bit about touring because I got into tour with Masters of Illusion. I've gotten to be on TV a few times now. Yes. Uh, but as far as when I was auditioning for like commercials and TV projects and stuff, you know, the needing a magician isn't as much as it used to be. It used to be you really needed a magician. Nowadays, you can kind of fake it. Okay. Now, I've noted that you've done everything from CW uh -huh. to America's Got Talent yeah, yeah. to Masters of Illusion. You've mm -hmm. been on at least 12 different networks. I have no idea. I, I <laughs> you don't, really yeah. have. Uh, no, well, let's see. Well, let's see. I did, I did Pop TV, Reels, Reels Network, Reels Channel, uh, CW, NBC, Comedy Central, Maybe six or seven. I feel like there's a couple wow. more in there. Yeah, so it's not not quite a dozen. So yet, when you're doing television magic, do you have to be less aware of your surroundings? Is it easier to kind of get away with tricks because there aren't people visually watching you? It's It has its trade-offs. When you are, if I'm doing magic specifically for you, the my, uh, I know where I have to misdirect and what my angle problems are going to be. Mm. And so if let's say I need you to not see something, I just have to move a little bit and there's a lot you're not going to be able to see anymore. As opposed to if I'm performing completely surrounded, there's a lot more, you know, if I want to hide something, I'd have to, you know, hide it up against a wall or my body or something like that. Okay. Uh, but when I'm performing on television, you get some slight luxury in the fact that depending on how it's being filmed, if it's being filmed with multi cameras like this, usually they film for like three different angles at the same time and then they edit. So that means that I know that, okay, well, if I'm bad in this one angle, they'll just cut to a different angle in editing. You okay. know? And we usually have a producer or a consultant who sits there in the editing room and says, nope, you can't show that angle. Uh, yeah, cut to angle, cut to camera one on this one. Nope, now you need to cut back to camera two. Okay, so, so, there's a little bit, yeah, so there's a little bit there's a little <laughs> bit of freedom in it. Uh, but at the same time, also knowing that you know if it looks bad from all the camera angles, you're kind of buggered because uh, yeah. it's going to be captured that way forever. And so sometimes you know there are certain tricks that just don't make it to TV because they're like, oh, we never really quite got the right reactions. We never quite got the right look for it you know there's a bunch of variables that come into it 